Heavenly Father, we thank you for today and we pray that you'd bless Bradley and Valerie. We pray that in the coming weeks, months, and years that they would grow deeper in you and deeper in love with one another. We pray that you'd give them strength and courage to face any challenge that might come their way. Jesus, I pray that you'd be the center of their relationship. In Jesus' name, amen. Val, you're my heart. I love you so much. Your happiness is all that ever matters to me. This is symbolic of the path you're starting today. Your most exciting and beautiful adventure begins today. Will you stand here today before God, family, friends, ready to be united in the holy bonds of matrimony? Today, your separate lives with their own memories, achievements, and aspirations will be merged into one. Truly, Brad is one of the purest people I know. He never has any hidden agendas, doesn't hold grudges, and helps steer those around him to do the right thing. Simply put, a good man. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> well, during your life together, may there be enough tears to keep you tender, enough hurts to keep you human, and enough failure to keep your hands tightly in God's, and enough success to make sure you walk with God. Then when life is done and the sun is setting, may you be found then as now, still hand in hand, still very proud, still thanking God for each other. May you serve God happily, faithfully, together, till life's pathway has ended. Valerie, I've dreamt and prayed for you all my life. And I can't believe that we are here now and that I am professing my love to you. Bradley. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe we're here. Thank you for never giving up on me and being so intentional in every way. This has especially been a crazy year for us and the world, but during all of this change, you've been my constant. I knew from the day that I saw you on Hinge that you were special. And I just had to get to know you, even though I couldn't take you on a date for almost a month. And it was the longest date I ever had that I never wanted to end. And little did I know then, but our names were written in the stars. I know we're both imperfect people, but I choose to learn from God's perfect love to love you the best that I can. I promise to be faithful and supportive and to always make our family's love and happiness my priority. I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever our lives may bring. You're my person my love and my life today and always. I'm so blessed that you love me for who I am and that you challenge me to lead and you point us to the Lord. You're my other half, the one and only person I look forward to hearing say, come play with me. It's really adorable <laughs> and I love it. I vow to be my best for myself, for us, and for our future together. I will be with you in your heart and keep you safe in mine. It is you that I commit my love. Through the good and the bad, sickness and health, I can't see the future, but I promise you now, my bride, that no matter what comes, I will be by your side. I will love you even when we are old and gray. I will be faithful, truthful, and committed to only you. I will protect and serve you and even lay down my life if I need to. I will love you with all my heart. I love you yesterday, today, and always. I'm so thankful to God to be a part of your life which as of today becomes our life together. That's beautiful. <laughs> you know, as a pastor, this is probably one of my favorite things that I get to do is weddings, to be a part of this special day for a couple because this is something that's really unique and special. Bradley, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's holy ordinances in a holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, honor her, sustain her and cherish her in joy and sorrow, in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, and forsaking all others, keeping only to her as long as you both shall live? I will. 
Valerie, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to love after God's holy ordinances and the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love, honor, sustain, cherish him in joy and sorrow, in health and sickness, in prosperity and adversity, and forsaking all others to keep only to him as long as you both shall live? I will. I, Bradley, take you, Valerie, to be my wedded wife. To be my wedded, <laughs> oh, to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. To love, honor, and cherish. To love, honor, and cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I give you my love. I give you my love. I, Valerie, take you Bradley. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. To love, honor, and cherish. To love, honor, and cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I give you my love. I give you my love. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. I choose you to be my wife. I choose you to be my wife. This day and every day. This day and every day. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. I choose you to be my husband. I choose you to be my husband. This day and every day. This day and every day. So now having committed yourself to each other in openness, love, and permanency, and having sealed these vows by the giving and receiving of rings, I do by virtue bestowed upon me as a minister of the gospel, in accordance with the laws of the state of Washington, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Bradley, you may kiss your wife. I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Bruza. We got love.